What's up nerds, welcome to another installment of Cool Nerd Knowledge, and today we're going to take a look at Wolverine's clone, X-23. X-23 was created by Craig Kyle and Christopher Yost, and took a page out of Harley Quinn's book by first appearing in an animated series, X-Men Evolution, Season 3, Episode 10, in August of 2003. She first appeared in comics in Marvel's NYX No. 3 in February of 2004. The facility that created Weapon X had been trying for years to replicate their creation, but had failed with no subjects being able to survive the process. They hired renowned genetic scientist Sarah Kinney, who told them they could recreate Weapon X through cloning. The DNA they had from Wolverine was damaged, causing the cloning process to be unsuccessful for 22 straight attempts. On the 23rd attempt, Sarah disobeyed the facility's orders and duplicated the X chromosome, resulting in a female clone of Wolverine. Although the facility was infuriated by Sarah's disobedience, they continued with the cloning process and nine months later, X-23 was born. The project is overseen by Xander Rice, a man whose father was killed by Wolverine during the aftermath of his escape from Weapon X. At a young age, X-23 began martial arts training and was exposed to a trigger scent that would put her into a berserker rage. Rice made it clear that she was not to be treated as a child in order to dehumanize her. Sarah Kinney disobeyed again and snuck bedtime stories to her from time to time. At age 7, X-23 was experimented on through radiation by the orders of Rice to activate her mutant gene. It worked but almost at the cost of X-23's young life. Not too long after, Rice laced X-23's claws with adamantium, a painful process that she underwent without anesthesia. At age 11, the facility began selling X-23's skills out as an assassin. Soon, she became the most sought-out assassin in the world. Rice began using X-23 to do his dirty work and kill those who opposed him. He later revealed incubation chambers to Sarah, holding more X-clones from X-24 all the way to X-50. To attempt an escape from the facility, Sarah told X-23 to kill Rice and all of the clones. And she did. Rice got his revenge from beyond the grave, however, when soon after, X-23 was exposed to the trigger scent. X-23 went into a murderous rage and killed the only woman who had ever loved her. Sarah died in X-23's arms, but before she did, she gave her a name. Laura Kinney. Because she is a clone, X-23 has abilities similar to Wolverine. She has superhuman senses, which make her an excellent tracker. She also possesses a regenerative healing factor, has two retractable claws in both hands, and one retractable claw in each foot. Her claws have all been laced in adamantium, much like Wolverine. Because she has trained as an assassin at such a young age, X-23 is very dangerous in hand-to-hand -to -hand combat. After escaping the facility, Laura sought out Sarah's family in San Francisco. She told them she was Sarah's daughter, and then found a home with Megan and Debbie Kinney. Sometime later, it was revealed that Debbie's boyfriend had been working for the facility and planned to use Laura as an assassin. Laura found this out and killed him, and then soon after parted ways with Megan and Debbie to seek out Wolverine. Laura tracked Wolverine to Xavier's mansion, and after a quick skirmish, the two quickly bonded. Wolverine told Laura that he knew of her existence from a message that he had received from Sarah. Not long after, Captain America and S.H.I.E.L.D. showed up to arrest Laura for the murderous crime she had committed. At S.H.I.E.L.D. headquarters, she was interrogated by Daredevil and Captain America. Daredevil felt that because of her young age and the situation, she was innocent of all her crimes. Captain America, being ever the Boy Scout, disagreed and felt that she should atone for what she had done. Cap had a change of heart, however, and believed that S.H.I.E.L.D. would use X-23's assassination skills to their own benefit, so he set her free. In her early teenage years, Laura fell onto some hard times, working as a prostitute, dancing in nightclubs, and hanging around street gangs. Laura ran into Wolverine again sometime later, and then was recruited into Xavier's school for gifted youngsters. Laura and Wolverine share a bond much like a father and daughter. She began following him around the X-Mansion and sneaking onto missions that he was assigned to. Laura became a member of the X-Men and also joined other superhero teams such as X-Force. After hearing of Wolverine's death, Laura was devastated. She left the X-Men to do some soul searching. After finding herself, it was clear what she had to do. Honor Logan's past and take up the mantle as the new Wolverine. So there you have it, the story of Laura Kinney, also known as X-23, also known as Wolverine. It would mean a lot to us if you give this video a big thumbs up. Please head on over to our channel and subscribe. Check out all of our other cool nerd knowledge videos if you're interested in any other comic book characters. Check out all of our other videos over on our channel. And if you have any ideas for which video we should do next, please sound off in the comments below. Thanks for watching.